Okay, uh, that was Sports with Stranger on the Train from the Suddenly album, and uh, congratulations to them. It's doing very well, including the tour with them in Split Ends, where apparently they played in Brisbane on uh, Friday night and got over 4,500 people at Clownland, which is amazing. And talking about uh, people touring, we've got Sky Tour dates, John Williams, who's an excellent guitarist, Melbourne Comedy Theatre March 18th and 19th, the Canberra Theatre on the 20th, Sydney Capital Theatre 22nd and 23rd, then they're returning to Melbourne for the Comedy Theatre. And the big news is that the Boomtown Rats are going to tour here and they arrive in May. May the 11th in Sydney, May the 28th in Melbourne, June the 3rd Brisbane, June the 6th Adelaide, June the 10th Perth, and uh, it's going to be quite a good tour. In fact, I saw them in, uh, in Oxford when we were over in England and amazing. Uh, a couple of albums, we've got The Knack. Now, I raved about The Knack last year, <laughs> and uh, I really liked it because of Maya Sharona. I don't think the, uh, this album, But The Little Girls Understand, really sort of uh, comes up to the album of last year. In fact, I don't quite like it at all. But you've got to make up your own mind, so it's up to you, right? The Knack. They'll probably never speak to me again, but no, then that's, that's by, the way uh, it is. the specials, actually. It's up to you. Oh, it's up to Yeah, it is by the specials. Now, hold on. I've got to uh, yeah, well, try to do this, no, Mike. Uh, another single that uh, you will not have heard of, you can't buy it in this country yet, but it's been played a lot around the traps, is the Oral Exciters called My Boy Lollipop, which is the old little Millie one. So watch out for that one because uh, I believe it's going to uh, be sold out here in about four or five weeks. But a lot of people have been asking about it. There it is. The Oral Exciters, My Boy Lollipop. And the one that I held up last week, but I didn't have a cover, so I just held up my hands. Here is, in fact, the album cover, Billy Joel, Glass Houses. An excellent album and one I'm sure it's going to take them to the top of the charts again. All right. Let's have a look at a clip of a group that I think are quite, uh, quite amazing. Uh, we played... Uh, a clip of theirs about two or three weeks ago, One Step Beyond. It was from the album One Step Beyond. They're quite an amazing mad group. And here is Madness with My Girl, another track off the One Step Beyond album. Well, there you go. And as I said, I had promised the very special guest artist for tonight's show is, in fact, Police. Andy, thank you very much Hello. for coming on. Stuart and Sting. Are you feeling all right now? Yes, I feel fine, thank you. Yeah? I heard you couldn't even talk before until the interview. I couldn't speak a week ago. I couldn't even get one word out. I've yeah. had a holiday in Brampton Island, right. in Queensland, and uh, I feel a lot better. Well, now, the tour is, uh, is back on the road. You've already played uh, Sydney, Canberra. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're going back to Sydney, of course, and Melbourne. I mean, just tell me, what do you think of the Australian audiences? Australian audiences are great. They're really noisy. Yeah. Particularly Melbourne. Melbourne's been the best so far because they sing all the songs. Right. And that's real good for us. Well, when I sort of spoke to you in Houston, and uh, I was telling you about how, like, Atlantis was sort of really starting to take off, um, and Roxanne as well. Well, since that time, which is only going back about five or six months mm -hmm. ago, the whole thing has gone crazy in this country, and especially yeah. with the regret of the Blanc album. So um, You've gone crazy as well. Listen, uh, were you sort of surprised to hear how big you had become in Australia? Well, it's fantastic. When you've never been to a country before, to be number one, I mean, that's very right. gratifying. Yeah. Right. Incredible. And uh, yourself, what are we going to do album-wise now? We're going to miss out our third album and come straight out with our fourth one. Are you? No, seriously, you're doing some live stuff here. <laughs> what do you mean you're missing out your third album? Now, you're doing some, some stuff around the traps here, aren't you? We're recording tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, in fact, yeah. Right. Well, look, talking about albums, I've got to go back to a couple of albums, and I'll come back to you. Have you ever heard of Pat Benatar? Yes. Yes. Because this lady in the uh, Detroit area. Yeah. Well, she's already become big in America. She's a great artist, this particular singer. Yeah. She uh, is produced by Mike Chapman, who uh, handles Blondie and The Knack. He'll probably never speak to me again after The Knack, but anyhow, I'm trying to redeem myself here because this album is excellent. Uh, there's a track of it called Heartbreaker, which is the single, and I think once you hear it, it's going to take off in this country. It's a slower, but do yourself a favour, go out and have a listen to it. Uh, the special very guest artist for next week, very special guest artist, is a guy called M, and he's got a single out at the moment called Moonlight and Music. I danced all night and I lost all sense of time To another damn tune I can't get out of my mind well, I certainly hope he's a lot better when he comes out here and doesn't have to have all those things put on his head. What do you think of sort of music like that, Andy? Well, it can be artistic or it can be terrible. He's yeah. very good at it, I think. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Mm. Yeah, not bad. What do you say? Now, listen, you've been, you're saying you're going to record in Australia and you're actually going to record uh, tomorrow, aren't you, in, in the studios. How come? I mean, why have you decided to record in here, like well, in Australia? Well, the thing is, uh, we're so busy on the road, we haven't got time to take off. Yeah. So we have to record our album when we're touring at the same... Normally bands spend eight months recording, four months touring. Right. We do everything all at once. Now, listen, a lot of people have been saying, like, uh, especially after, say, like a track like Walking on the Moon, how can this three-piece group get a sound like that, and do they get a sound like that on stage? Exactly the we same. We turn it up loud. Right. Now that one is, is 
it's very straightforward. It, we yeah. really play just like that with three instruments. Right. Well, it's not yeah. just like the record. In fact, it's very different from the record, but in most ways, it's better. Right. It's generally, uh, my opinion, and the opinion of most people, is that we're better on stage. Yeah. Well, listen, you're going to sort of do uh, Walking on the Moon in the studios in about five minutes' time, and everyone's gearing themselves out for that. On the 29th, we've got very special guest artists for that week, and that's Racy from England, and they've got a clip out at the moment called Such a Night. All right, listen, it gives me very, very great pleasure, not only because uh, I happened to get to know the guys when we went over to Houston last year in America, but uh, apart from the fact that they are brilliant musicians, they've come out with two excellent albums, that's, and I'm talking about Atlantis and Regatta de Blanc, but uh, on top of that, they're, they're some of the most modest guys I've ever met. In fact, when we talked to them then, they were so sort of knocked out that uh, their album was actually keeping out the Fleetwood Mac album, Tusk, at number one in England, and they were more surprised than anyone. But here they are, all the way from, uh, from America, to present for you the hit song that's roaring up the charts right around the country, Police, live in the studios with Walking on the Moon. Bye-bye. 